Hey sophomores, Mr. Resentes again. This is um, chemistry and I'm talking about electron configuration. I'm on page 147 of your textbook if you want to follow along and perhaps you remember this Bohr model. Now we we would have we would have said that there's two electrons in the first shell, eight and eight in the second. Now what we're going to do in this chapter is we're going to expand on this and the way we're going to expand on it is we're going to discuss how the the how the electrons behave both as a particle and as a wave. The the first energy level the first energy level is what we call ground state. N equals one. And that's the lowest energy level. The second energy level, I labeled it here, first and second. The second energy level is what was is what is called the excited state. N equals two. Now it could be n equals three, four, but um, n equals two or three. Um, dot 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 or four and so this is a higher energy level now when an, when a an element has received the energy from the electromagnetic spectrum has received some energy and it has the electron has jumped to a, a higher state because of the energy a higher energy level then it goes back to its back to its ground state. When that happens, it emits or releases a photon. And we've talked about we we've talked about how that is behaving like a wave. But because it needs to be bumped up like a particle, and it needs to be bumped up using a quantum of energy, and that's called a quantum number. So n it doesn't look like an x n is, and I should put quotes around it because I'm starting a, starting a sentence with it, n is the quantum number. That is a quantity needed to bump it up. The quantum number. Okay, that's the energy needed to bump it up to the next higher level. When the electron release, when the electron returns, it re releases energy. And that energy is unique to its energy level. That's why when you see the flame test, some of the elements are red, some of them are blue, and some of them are green. So, as you can see, it's acting like a wave when it releases those when it releases those colors, those spec uh, of the electromagnetic spectra. But it's also acting like a particle. It's acting like a particle because you need to bump this electron up, and so it's it, we call that the wave-particle duality. That's called the wave-particle duality. Interesting. Now, there's, before we start talking about electron configuration, there's three people that I need to summarize. The off-ball principle, Pauli exclusion principle, and the Hind principle. Off-ball is basically electrons are added to the lowest energy level first. before going on to the next. Pauli says electrons are paired per level. 
and then the Heinz rule and you'll these will come these, these these rules will make more sense in a minute whenever I show you but I just wanted to write them down electrons fill each level one at a time before pairing up all right so you'll you fill these up one at a time with electrons before they pair up you wouldn't fill them like this they don't they don't pair up first you fill them one at a time, all right? So let's try let's try some electron configurations. Here's uh, one, two, three, four different four different elements that will give it a go. Let's start with uh, uh, helium. Helium has two electrons. I know that because I looked it up on the periodic table. It the num the atomic number. This is a neutral element, of course. So we have two electrons in the first or but we're in the first 1s orbital and so they're going to have opposite spins and so that electron configuration is going to be 1s2 because there is two electrons in the first there's two electrons in the first orbital and then the, the uh, let's try another one we have three electrons so you fill the first one first and then you fill the next one. This the 1s holds two and the 2s holds two. So the electron configuration would be 1s, uh, 1s2, 2s1. Because in the 2s orbital we have one electron, and in the 1s orbital we have two electrons. We fill this one before going to the next. All right. Follow. And then. We could do another one. So we would have two and the two. We fill up our first. We fill up our our s with two, and then we fill each of these individually before before we go on. And just as Paul, just as the Heinz rule says, all right. And then that would be we have uh, one s two, two s two, two p three. Right, and then we could do one more sodium it has two electrons two electrons we have to fill we have to we have to count for 11 so all of these are going to have two two four six eight ten and then one in the three s so it's going to be one s two two s two two p six three s one So as you can see, the way we fill the the way we fill these up, you have two electrons. You have two electrons in the in this first 1s, two electrons in the in, in here. So so we have uh, 1s 1s has two electrons. 2s has two electrons. And then 3s, 3s has two electrons. 3p can hold up to six electrons. 3d can hold up ten electrons. So um, there's also a 2p. Uh, 2p can hold up to six electrons. So we have two electrons, eight electrons. This can hold up to um, 18 electrons, and then. The, uh, the the fourth level, which we, we might get to, uh, can uh, can hold two p and then four p six and then four d ten and then and then uh, we also have four f fourteen and so you could hold it'll hold up 36, 36 electrons, All right? So one s two. 2s holds 2 and then 2p but what I wanted to point out what I want to point out here is that when you get to the 3s you fill up the 3p but then you fill up the 4s before you fill up the 3d obviously 4s is a lower energy level than 3d so a good test question is always why do you fill up 4s before 3d well it's because 4s is a lower energy level so let's try let's try one more 
chlorine has a, if I asked you to do the, uh, the Bohr model, you'd put two electrons in the first, eight in the second, and then, and then seven in the third. So it would, you would do the expanded. The expanded electron configuration would be 2s, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5, for a total of 17 electrons. And then if we wanted to do our orbital diagram, we have for 1s, we have 1 in each direction. 2s, we have 1 in each direction. 2p holds up to 2, 4, 6, 8. So this is all 1 here, right? So this is, these are full, of course. These are in just in opposite spins because the electrons, electrons want to be paired up. And then this is the 3s in the opposite direction. And then 3p, you don't, because of the, uh, the rule, you fill one individually. All right, so that's the three 